Ida Ice Learning Center, Location and Weather. Part of the definition of the global data for a simulation model is the location and the climate data. We are now uploading a location from the database. And in this case, we are selecting Gothenburg. By clicking onto the link next to the pull-down menu, we can view the data which is associated with the location. On top of the window, there is information about the position such as the country, the city, longitude and latitude, as well as elevation and time zone. In the center of the page is information related to summer and winter design days. The first two items are minimum and maximum driver temperature. During the simulation, the temperature will vary in a sinusoidal curve within this maximum and minimum values. Below that is information about the wet bulb temperature. During the simulation, we assume that the absolute humidity will remain constant whereas the relative humidity will vary. The next item down is information about wind speed and wind direction. This is used to calculate through pressure coefficients the pressure that will occur on the different surfaces of the envelope of the building. When specifying climate data, the user has two options, either to select synthetic weather data, which is based on the design day information which we have previously specified, or to upload a full annual weather set from the database. When selecting synthetic weather data, the user specifies whether the summer or the winter set is going to be used. This is however only applied for custom simulation of advanced level simulation. For heating or cooling load prediction, the program automatically uses the appropriate set. In our case we want to select more detailed climatic data. We are selecting a file which contains hourly climate data for Gothenburg. Hourly climatic definition is very common for climate sets but it is also possible to select one with shorter time steps. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video useful. You will find more videos if you go to help and process guides. There is a whole series of videos stored there. Under help, you will also find our getting started guide as a PDF document. Also, never hesitate to contact support or write to our forum for further questions or support. And remember to check out our website. Under events, there, you can find upcoming courses. We frequently host beginners and advanced courses on various topics.